I booked a trip to Portugal for five weeks. I kid you not, by the time I came back from Portugal, I was brand new. Hi, my name is Laura. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today is a very short video just to talk to you about the power and actually importance of travel. Now, here's my short story, and this is why I think travel is so important. So a couple of years ago, I went through a traumatic experience and I had to stop working. And so I was dealing with PTSD for a year. And during that first six months, I was on the couch just crying and eating. <laughs> I would cry and then I would sleep and I would get up and I would eat and I would cry more and I'd go back to sleep. And I did that for six months. But in the meantime, I was also trying therapy and I was also, um, I also started medication, but nothing was working. And so I said to myself, self, <laughs> there's gotta be something better. The thing that I love more than anything is traveling. So I booked a trip to Mexico and I actually was planning on moving abroad at this point because I thought I gotta change my situation. I've gotta try something brand new. So I booked a trip and I went to Mexico for 10 days. I went to Merida and Playa del Carmen and Cancun and Isla Mujeres. And it was on that trip that I started to feel a transformation. I started to feel healthier and happier and like myself again, travel is so powerful. And if you have the opportunity, the finances, the passport, the resources to do it when you are feeling miserable, I highly recommend it. After I got back from Mexico, I could feel a change in my mental health. So then I booked a trip to Portugal. So I went to Mexico for 10 days and I booked a trip to Portugal for five weeks. I'm just feeling so grateful that I get to be here in Porto. This city is stunning. Look at this. People actually get to live here. So grateful. I kid you not, by the time I came back from Portugal, I was brand new. In fact, while I was in Portugal, I ran out of my antidepressants. I didn't have the number correct. I don't know how that happened. I counted incorrectly. So I went off cold turkey, not by choice. I don't recommend that. <laughs> and I had like crazy high blood pressure and I ended up going to a public hospital in Portugal. If you want, you can check out the video on that. That was a bad experience, <laughs> but I realized when I got back that I didn't actually need the medication. I didn't need it because I had gotten so much happier after my five weeks in Portugal. Loved it. I loved Portugal. I spent time alone, but I, I was in an unfamiliar environment. And so every day I was forced to make decisions to try to translate the language to try to figure out the metro trying new foods and meeting new people it was so great but it meant that i was being present and i think that's what it is about travel you are being present and you can't think about your problems and if you can't think about it for weeks on end i think it seems to like have less importance in your mind. It, it, it lessens its grip on you. And that's my experience with travel. So I just wanna say, if you have the opportunity, if you are in a miserable situation right now, if you are depressed or, I don't know, if you have the ability to travel, and it doesn't have to be all the way to Portugal. I mean, I live, I went from Texas to Portugal. And that's kind of far. But even if you can just spend a week away even if it's only the next state over, do that. Because I feel like getting out of your comfort zone and getting out of your environment changes your whole perspective about the issue. I really highly 
believe in travel. It heals you. Travel heals you. I believe in it. I believe in it in being the best medicine. And I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.